is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony today we are in the new 2019 lexus ux 200 courtesy of bobby ray hall lexus in mechanicsburg pa and since the first time i saw this all new vehicle at the new york auto show last year i was definitely a fan and was extremely curious the price point at which lexus was going to start this one at so having said that as always Let's start with pricing. And so the 2019 Lexus UX 200 will start at $32,000 even. Then there is the luxury trim level for $37,200 and the F Sport for $34,000 even. And so, but regardless of trim level for the 2019 UX 200, that power plant is going to be the same. Powering this one is going to be a two liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder engine, putting out 169 horsepower at 6,600 RPM and 151 pound feet of torque available at 4,800 RPM. For the UX 200, power is gonna be sent to the front wheels through a 10-speed direct shift CVT, giving you a zero to 60 time of approximately 8.9 seconds and MPG numbers coming in at 29 in the city, 37 on the highway. And by the way, when it comes to filling up the UX, Lexus does actually recommend regular unleaded fuel, which I always think is worth mentioning because not many luxury vehicles recommend regular unleaded fuel. So it's gonna save you a little bit of money there. But before we do any kind of acceleration, test on this one. I did want to mention the drive modes and that drive mode button is going to be located just on top of the gauges there actually but that's going to give you eco, normal, and sport. And those drive modes are going to adjust things like the throttle response, the shift points, the steering sensitivity, and actually the gauge display setup as well. A little more of a sporty appearance if you go with that sport driving mode. So I thought that was worth mentioning but so having done that since I just put it in that sport driving mode I think it is time you guys let's do a quick little acceleration here in the UX200 and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. Honestly, when you originally look at the specs on the engine numbers of the UX200, you might think it's a bit underwhelming, but you gotta keep in mind, this isn't that heavy of a vehicle. It is a smaller size, therefore less weight, so honestly, acceleration really isn't all that bad. But so then to go along with that acceleration, braking is of course equally important, and so you will get four-wheel power-assisted disc brakes, and as far as the braking feel goes, I've had absolutely zero issues with that. There's no brake pedal delay or anything like that. And then touching on the handling and suspension a little bit, I first did want to start by saying Lexus is marketing as a very city capable driving vehicle. So having said that, the UX does get an all new platform from Lexus. Also worth mentioning, again, keeping in mind that city driving, the UX 200 actually has a best in class 17.1 foot turning radius. So when you come across those three point turns that are sometimes necessary, it is quite possible they will not be necessary with the UX 200 because this thing has such a nice turning radius to it. So that is going to be there for you. And when Lexus was tuning the UX's suspension. They actually specifically tuned it to enhance agility and ride quality. And to go along with that, as you would expect, if you were to go with the F Sport trim level, you will actually get a sport tuned suspension for a little firmer handling if you wanted it. And as far as the ride quality goes, I have had absolutely no issues. So yeah, I can definitely attest to the ride quality. And again, Lexus has thought of this because we all know in city climates, they don't always have the best paved roads out there. So the ride quality of the UX 200 will definitely compensate for that. But so then elaborating on the suspension setup a little more. Up front, you will get independent McPherson struts with coil springs and gas pressurized shock absorbers. In the back, an independent multi-link rear suspension with trailing arms, coil springs, and gas pressurized shock absorbers once again. And as far as the steering feel goes, I actually was able to tell a noticeable difference between the driving modes. Having it in sport driving mode right now, the steering feel does have a heavier weight to it. I absolutely love it, especially in a smaller vehicle. You a lot of times don't find that, but the steering feel is definitely definitely more sportier in nature, which you gotta appreciate. And then when it comes to cabin noise, again, absolutely no issues there. Sometimes with smaller vehicles, you do have some additional cabin noise, but that is definitely not the case with the UX. And when it comes to visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. And typically with smaller vehicles, you aren't gonna have any issues. Those headrests do take up a little bit of space there, but it's really not all that bad. Definitely no issues with visibility, but I did wanna also mention actually, there is a head-up display available when it comes to forward visibility at least. If you wanted that, the 
adds an additional $500, but that's gonna be right in your line of sight, so you really don't have to take your eyes off the road, so a little bit of a safety feature there. But enough of the driving dynamics, you guys. Let's check out the exterior of this all-new 2019 Lexus UX200. And so first, taking a look up front, there is that large Lexus spindle front grille. There's actually gonna be a unique front grille if you go with that F-Sport trim level, by the way. To the sides, by LED headlights with LED daytime running lights will come standard. However, there is an additional lighting setup available for an additional $1,600-ish. That's going to include the triple beam LED headlights with auto leveling, headlight washers, and LED fog lights with those as well. Then make your way to the side, you will find satin aluminum roof rails, also power adjustable heated outside mirrors. And if you go with that luxury trim, you will get memory settings for both the seats and the mirrors as well. Also with the luxury trim, you will get an illuminated entry system. So as you approach the UX at night, that will give you some illumination so you don't step in any puddles or anything like that. But you will find F-Sport badging on the front fender if you went with that trim level. And when it comes to the wheel setup, 18-inch five-spoke alloy wheels with dark gray accents will come standard. And they will also come with run-flat tires, by the way, as well. Then make your way to the back on this one. Rear spoiler with integrated brake light will come standard along with the rear window wiper just below that. And LED aerodynamic taillights. And I mentioned the aerodynamic because they do have a quite nice design to them. And they are actually lit by illuminating 120 LEDs into one continuous line in the back there that tapers into a mere three millimeters in the center. So quite an interesting and unique taillight design. I gotta say I'm a fan. But just below all of that, a single exhaust outlet. So you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are round back to open that rear hatch simply just walk into the back and lift underneath there and it is a power operated rear hatch and if you go with the luxury trim it is a hands-free lift gate as well but once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 21.7 cubic feet if that was not enough space there is a 60 40 split in the back there meaning those rear seats do fold down for a good bit of extra space if you needed it there and there is some in-floor storage back there as well and then making your way up to the rear seats rear legroom comes in at 33.1 inches so for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. And those rear passengers will also find a rear center armrest with cup holders along with rear air vents. Make your way to the front seats. There are eight-way power adjustable front seats with two-way driver lumbar support. If you went with the luxury trim level, you will get heated and ventilated front seats and some additional enhanced bolstering if you went with the F-Sport, by the way. To take a look up front, there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. It will come leather wrapped. And if you wanted it heated, that adds an additional $150. And I do have that heated steering wheel, which is quite nice on this super cold, snowy day here in PA that we have. And when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Lexus logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock and unlock. So it is all keyless access though. So all you need to simply do is just keep the key in your pocket, put your foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver right knee and so but then once started up there is a digital display on the left side tachometer and speedometer are going to be front and center and is a digital readout there as well and like i had previously mentioned those driving modes will adjust the color of the gauge display up there but to the left side of that digital display to adjust what is on that simply use the steering wheel mounting controls on the left side there but that's going to give you things like your trip information bluetooth information radio settings and a couple of other things as well but now let's make our way to overall interior quality on this one because there are wireless powered LED illuminated air vent knobs. That is the first thing I wanted to mention because that is very unique. Also, washi interior trim is going to be optional. And essentially what that is, is it was crafted to mimic the soft grain of Japanese paper. So I actually do kind of like that. It looks pretty cool. Also, standard dual zone climate control. There is a power moonroof available for $1,100. Universal garage door opener, again, is going to be optional. I do have that today as well. Wireless phone charger adds an additional $75 if you wanted it. And although we do have an all black interior trim here i do like the different texturized finishes that are available because there's plenty of them including on the seats i don't think i even mentioned that but on the side bolsters of the seats there's a cool texturized finish to them as well and i always like the analog clock front and center that lexus always puts in their vehicles but just to the right of that actually let's check out the tech display on this one seven inch color display will come standard that's going to come with bluetooth and audio streaming apple carplay and it will be amazon alexa capable as well 
but if you went with the navigation package that adds $2,200, that's gonna give you a 10.3 inch color touchscreen. And again, either way, you can check out your radio settings. Standard sound system is gonna be a Lexus six speaker sound system, and there is an eight speaker sound system available, but honestly, probably either way, it should be perfectly fine. This is a smaller vehicle, but you know what? Let's actually put that to the test. Let me turn on the radio here. Let's see what we got playing this morning, and let's test out the clarity of that one. That bass was very intense for a smaller vehicle. Absolutely, actually an amazing sound system. And this isn't even the Mark Levinson. That is a quite nice sound system for the UX there. But then last thing on the tech display I wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the UX 200 in reverse, you will have a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags, also driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well. In the back, there is latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also standard, a tire pressure monitoring system, but also standard, something called Lexus Safety System Plus 2.0. And this is standard across every single trim level, but what that is gonna give you is low light pedestrian detection, a pre-collision system, lane assistance, intelligent high beams, dynamic radar cruise control, and road sign assist. A lot of these are gonna be optional on other manufacturers out there, but not with Lexus. And in addition to that, I did wanna also mention the luxury trim that is gonna add a blind spot monitoring system, rain sensing windshield wipers, and auto tilt side mirrors. And so, but anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold.